Good morning, everyone. What a great day it is starting to be. It's a little rainy, but man, we are in Montana. I cannot believe that. In Montana. <laughs> We're going to Yellowstone. About 250 some odd miles before we get there. Bernie, Bernie's in the front seat with me today. Say hi, Bern. <laughs> <laughs> you always sound so crabby. <laughs> anyway, we're heading to Yellowstone. Um, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure that I brought enough warm clothes. It was 47. It's uh, 49 now. It was 47 degrees this morning. So it was cold. I had turned my heater on. Thank goodness. I love that heater. But anyway, we slept good last night at that uh, $50,000 silver coin restaurant. I'm not exactly sure. What, what the name of it is, but it's the bar is just amazing. I'll put a picture up here of this <laughs> two guys I sat with at the at the table out there. What a, we had such a good time. It was a really food was great. The people were great. I stopped at the gift shop and bought a few things, and I bought a couple things for Bernie Burton too. So anyway, we're heading to heading to Yellowstone. So I'll catch you guys in another hundred miles or so. Well, look at the difference in the mountain change. I mean, what a difference in. 10 miles and you know what I noticed the speed limit here is 80 80 well hell I'm not going 80 I go 55 and six I'm trying to go 60 because I feel bad but wow this is just amazing the difference in the it's like somebody shaved the mountains all the trees are shaved off that's so weird that's what I think too Bernie I was thinking the same thing and this is what I call Big Montana Skies. Boy, I wish you guys could see what I can see here. If I wasn't driving, this camera would be all over. What a absolutely beautiful, breathtaking mountain range. this guys <laughs> we're in Idaho yeah we're not supposed to be in Idaho we're supposed to be in Montana but a few things happen that we need to go to Idaho and one of the things is my uh, the heart of my uh, my tiny house is my energy uh, 1500 watt solar generator well a couple of a week or so ago it started acting funny and my refrigerator would shut off and one time I lost all my food. So I thought maybe I didn't have it plugged in right. I thought something was going on and it was my fault. Well, did it again when I went uh, camping. I took my daughter and my uh, my grandson went camping. I did it again. And um, the 110 part, it goes uh, from 12 volt and then you click it over to the, um, the 110 part and then everything, all, all the major lights that run on 110 are supposed to come on along with the refrigerator. Well, it didn't come on. So I called Energy and um, we kind of troubleshooted over the phone and they got Tyler, awesome, awesome guy. Anyway, um, to make a long story short, it crapped out completely. Um, oh, four hours, four or five hours ago, I stopped and checked it and I couldn't get it to come on at all. So anyway, I called Tyler and he says, well, where are you? And I says, well, I'm in Montana about uh, four hours from Yellowstone. He says, well, are you in Butte yet? And I said, well, just past Butte. He said, well, if you come down Highway 15 at Butte and go to, um, what's the name of that town? Uh, Pocatello, Idaho. It says, there's our plant in Pocatello, Idaho. And we'll look at it. And I'm going, oh my God. Because otherwise it'll be way after November before they can look at it. And I'd have to send it in and get it looked at it. So anyway, to make a long story short, that's where I'm going, to Pocatello, Idaho. He said, we weren't, we're not, of course it's late now. It's almost five o'clock now. So. I'm only going to drive for another hour, and I've got another hour and a half to go. But um, anyway, um, they're going to look at it tomorrow, and if it's an easy fix, it'll only take a day or two. So I'm stuck in Pocatello, Idaho, and he says it might be over the weekend and not out till Monday. So 
with no power. So anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do, but anyway, that's where I'm heading. So uh, Pocatello, Idaho, here I come. Well, Bernie and I are off and running this morning. We left the campsite. It was B Belize campsite. And, um, you know, like I said yesterday, I only had just a few sites there and I got lucky to get one. So it was a complete full hookup. So it was really nice. We had a really nice night's sleep. It got cold last night. Uh, good thing I got that, that wave three because I, I love that little heater. So that kept us warm and um, we're off to energy to pick up my solar generator. I can't wait. I can't wait to have it back. You don't know how much you miss your your right arm if you didn't have your right arm. So anyway, we're heading in that direction and I'll catch you guys when we get there. Well, we're here at the uh, energy company. There's my little tiny house. I parked right alongside the road here today. There it is. And here's my little, my new favorite company. <laughs> we're going to go in and talk to them. Well, this is the front area of the company. This is a solar panel I just just put on the top of my my roof. Do I now I have 400 watts of solar right there? And of course, this is the one I got right here, and the Kodiak. A lot of people have the Kodiak, but I do not have that one. I got the Energy. So anyway, Taylor's here. He's going to pick me, um, show me the unit, and give me the input on it, and uh, we'll get right back to you. Well, that was easy peasy. <laughs> I talked to Taylor. He's he said, "No, I'm camera shy." No, he didn't want me to film him, so I didn't. So. <laughs> That's all, all good. Well, I'm going to get this thing up in my uh, in my car, I mean in my tiny house, and set it back up again, and I'm going to be on the road here in just a few minutes. So here it is again. It's my energy company that fixed my solar generator. Thank you, thank you, Taylor. Thank you, thank you, Amber, for being so kind. I appreciate each and every one of you. Well, things never seem to go as planned. And that's just to be expected. Something always goes wrong. And if you think you're cruising for a few days, it all works real good for a few days, and all of a sudden, wham, something slams you in the dirt. So, But it's all good now. So um, I got my uh, the heart of my um, tiny house back. Works great. Got it all hooked up, and we're headed to Yellowstone. It's about a four-hour drive from where I'm at. I'm on Highway um, uh, I-15. So anyway, just a recap of uh, the last couple days. I was going to Yellowstone. That didn't work out. I ended up in Idaho, in Pocatello, Idaho. Had a conversation over the phone with, with uh, Taylor, Amber. And uh, Taylor uh, called me up. I'm, or I called him up and I said, I got some issues. And he said, where are ya? I said, I'm here. And he says, well, come here. We'll fix it. They did fix it. It took them one day to fix it. Thank goodness I stayed at that campsite for one day and that was it. And it cost me $56. My warranty was up a long time ago and I use that thing every, every day. So for $56, I couldn't, I couldn't give them the money fast enough. I was so excited. <clears throat> so I got my tiny house. It all works out good. And this is going to be the end of this video. It was very unexpected, but this is going to be the end of it. Just Bernie and I say hi, Bern. Bern, Bern. <laughs> uh, he's such a good boy. God, he's a good boy. So anyway, um, this is going to be the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed even some of the video, just give me a little thumbs up. Hit that little bell icon and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And duck on it, guys. We'll catch you probably tomorrow or the next day in Yellowstone. I'm hoping I get there this time. We'll catch you guys later. Bye.